The fuel of the Forex market is liquidity. So let's take a quick dive into it to understand what liquidity in Forex market really is and how to spot it. The Forex market is the most liquid market in the world, turning over more than six trillions of US dollars every day. So what is liquidity in Forex? Market liquidity in Forex refers to the ease with which a currency pair can be bought or sold in the market without causing significant price fluctuations. It is a measure of the numbers of buyers and sellers in the market and the volume of trading activity. High liquidity in the Forex market means that there are many participants actively trading and a large volume of transactions taking place. This ensures that traders can enter and exit positions quickly at stable prices. On the other hand, low liquidity can lead to wider bid-ask spreads and increased slippage, making it more challenging to execute trades efficiently. You might have heard terms as fair value gaps, imbalance, order blocks, liquidity pools. All of these are different names of basically the same thing, zones with market orders that haven't been filled and therefore are considered liquidity zones. For the price to move for a certain forex pair, there has to be liquidity in the market. Liquidity is the fuel of the market. For every buy order to be executed, there has to be a sell order of equal size and proportion. And for every sell order to be filled, there has to be a buy order of equal size. If I want to buy Euro USD for 1 million US dollars at price point X, then there has to be sell orders worth 1 million US dollars at price point X. If there are not enough sell orders, then price will push up until it's able to fill the whole 1 million US dollar order. Therefore, when trading the Forex markets, it's key to understand and follow the liquidity in the markets. Here at Prosperous, our main strategy is to trade like the banks and other institutions do, by seeking liquidity in the market and leveraging it. So there are many different ways to spot liquidity in the markets, and some of them we already mentioned in the intro to supply and demand. Other ones we will touch quickly on now, and more advanced training on liquidity, you will find it in the VIP section. So the first concept of liquidity is supply and demand that we already spoke on in the supply and demand video. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you to go back, watch it, then come back to this video again. And the easiest way to spot supply and demand to really ease it down is to, is to think like this. You have swings. So you have different swing points. This is a swing point, swing point, swing point, swing point. So a swing point is a point in a market where the market turns. All right. Now, the last candle that caused that swing point can be considered a demand or supply zone. If it's on the top, then it's a supply zone. Why is, it, why is it a supply zone? Because all the buyers sold here. So here is a lot of sell orders laying, which means if market pushes up here again, touches this area, there's a very high probability that market will push down from here again. Same thing if we look at it reverse. So what caused this great push that you see here? This is the last bearish candle we had. So the last opposite candle. For a bullish move, it's the last bearish candle that you see here. And for a bearish move, it's the last bullish candle that you see here. If market pushes down to this demand zone that you got here, also called order block, then there's a high probability that you will see the market bounce up from there. How high? We don't know. Now, of course, spotting supply and demand can be very much refined. And there are big differences between supply and demand zone and high quality supply and demand zones. So you, of course, want to spot the high quality supply and demand zones. And how to spot them is something that you will learn in the VIP section in the more advanced trainings. The next way to spot liquidity is very simple and it's called imbalance or also called fair value gaps. So how do you spot fair value gaps or imbalances in the market? Well, here is a big imbalance here as well. How do I see that there's an imbalance? Well, let's look at it. So what I look at is the is at the can, main candle I want to look at the previous candle and the next candle. So I'm looking at the wicks and I look, I'm looking at the previous candle wick. Where was it? It's right here, right? And the next candle, where is the wick? Here. So this whole zone that you see here is an imbalance. Basically, it hasn't been filled. The previous candle and the next candle didn't fill up this candle. 
and therefore there's a major imbalance here there's a lot of liquidity laying around here probably a lot of sell limit orders that hasn't been triggered and it's the same thing on the next one as you see here this week closes here next week closes here so in between you have a space called the, the imbalance so we pull a rectangular box from that wick to that wick and this is the imbalance as you see market came down to the imbalance try to push up but the momentum downwards were too strong another way to spot liquidity is double tops or ranging areas consolidation areas like here for example so here you have one top you have another top so this is called a double top or equal highs in between that you have a lot of consolidation now why is there liquidity here well consider market going up here and reversing at this weekly key point this is a weekly key point that you will learn, learn more about in the top down analysis market reverses from there it rejects the weekly key point what does this mean for traders they see this as a perfect sell opportunity so they be selling here from around this area where are the stop losses right about here here are all the stop losses market goes down pushes but doesn't manage to push down properly moves back up and ranges here and people are entering sales every time it rejects this area they're entering sales 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 so all these stop losses are here pushes down back up again another amount of stop losses so this area here is what we call a liquidity pool there's a lot of stop losses here, which in plain language are buy stop orders. Because if somebody's selling, their stop loss becomes a buy stop orders. For them to exit this sell position, they have to place a buy stop order. And when the buy stop order is filled, they can exit their sell position. So here's a lot of buy stop orders. So if market now, let's say, pushes up here to this area, what will happen is, boom a catapult effect very important to keep in mind so this is a bullish liquidity pool laying here that is a very simple and quick brief introduction to liquidity liquidity is a big concept in trading and especially in trading forex why because as i mentioned it's the few of the forex market so it's a keystone it's something that you really need to understand the better you understand liquidity in the markets and how it flows where it goes the currency of it the better you will be at trading and spotting profitable trading opportunities and therefore we will talk a lot a lot about it in the vip section we will dissect it we will go through especially in the live sessions you will always hear us talk about liquidity and where to spot liquidity because that's our goal to make you better at spotting liquidity so you can become better traders and in the same time we're training ourselves also every day is a training doesn't matter how long you've been in the forex game and how profitable you are you can always get better mm -hmm.